there's two sides of pain. There's one side of pain that's the suffering and the discomfort side of pain. But then there's another side of pain that's called effort. It's called glory. And if you never tap into it, it's because the first time you felt it, you backed off. The first time you felt ah, that burn, the first time you felt that ah, it's too much. And we rationalize with ourselves to where we automatically stop. That's why a bunch of us give up so much in life so quickly. But suppose I told you the greatest pain of my life is the reason I'm standing here today. See, sometimes we think the pain is what controls us. It's actually our subconscious mind that if we ever tapped into that, that's what dictates most of our lives. And literally what I've learned in these moments is that I have to stop listening to myself and I have to start talking to myself. I'm like, Rich, you're great. I'm like, look in the mirror, like, you can do this. Rich, you can handle this. Rich, this is not a big deal. Rich, this is gonna pass. You're amazing. Rich, this too shall pass. You got to find ways to increase your sense of self-appreciation because if you don't, you're bombarded with negative stuff every day that beats you down and you will find yourself unconsciously engaged in self-destructive behavior. If you don't program yourself, life will program you. You've got to get grounded. You've got to train your mind to serve you. Just make up your mind. This is not going to control you. You have got to make a declaration that this is what you stand for. You're standing up for your dreams. You're standing up for peace of mind. You're standing up for health. You want it. And you're going to go all out to have it. It's not going to be easy when you want to change. It's not easy. If it were in fact easy, everybody would do it. But if you're serious, you'll go all out and say, in spite of this, I'm in control here. I'm going to turn this situation around. I'm not going to sit back and, and moan and cry over what happened and what went wrong and who did what. I'm going to do something about this situation. When God gives you a dream, the dream will always be tested. The pressure in your life right now has a purpose. It's not crushing you. It's pushing what's on the inside of you out. It shows you who you are. It's a dog fight. It hadn't been easy. It's a dog fight. The road hadn't been successful. Like, it's just a paved road and like E.T. go this way. It's been rough. It's been crooked. It's been hard. But I've made up in my mind that I will get a reward for the pain that I go through. I will not stop in the middle of the process. I will not be defeated. I will not be destroyed. I will take everything that happens in my life and I will allow the pain to push me to greatness. You will not break me. You will not stop me. You will not defeat me. The only way I lose is if I quit. It's going to be a dog fight. I choose to fight back. Life is rough. You can allow it to destroy you or you can allow it to build you up. Draw the line, ladies and gentlemen, and just say enough is enough. Get out of that narrow-mindedness. Get out of that defeated mentality. Get away from that circle. Get away from those people that don't wish you any good. Get away from those people that don't want you to succeed. Get out of the tent. Get out! There's nothing as powerful as the human spirit. You can't destroy it. You can pervert it, but you can't destroy it. If you lose the job, keep the faith. If you lose the spouse, keep the faith. If you have to downsize, keep the faith. If you have to move in with your mama, keep the faith. If you have to wits in, keep the faith. If you have to catch the bus, keep the faith. If you have to dumb, keep the faith. If you get sick, keep the faith. If you lose your kidneys, keep the faith. If you got heart trouble, keep the faith. You might not get a new heart, but you gotta keep your faith. If you can't fly, run. If you can't run, walk. If you can't walk, crawl, but by all means, keep moving.